Okay folks, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to do another 5 minute quick tutorial for the Steam Deck to show you how to install the Heroic Games Launcher. So let's kick this off really quick. If you're wondering, I'm not recording off screen so I have my Steam Deck connected to my capture card. So what I'm going to do is go to Steam, I'm going to go to Power, I'm going to go to Switch to Desktop and once the desktop is launched, you're going to want to go to the Discover Software Center, open that and in the search bar, you're going to search for Heroic, search there and hit install. So once that's installed, we're going to launch it. Now I'm going to test this with Epic Games Launcher and what I would recommend is you install the games first in the Steam OS and then we're going to add it back to Steam Library as an executable so you can use it through gaming mode uh, once you have everything set up. So launch it by going to your application launcher go to search search for heroic again there it is there launch that now on first time load you're going to see this screen but obviously you're not going to have any of your library yet so you want to go to login and you want to go to epic games login and you can use whatever method you're using to log in um, in this case, for the purpose of this test, I'm just going to sign in with my Epic Games account. But once that's logged in, you should see the screen like this. So you can see my account is now logged in. So you can go straight to your library. And in this case, I'm going to install, let me see, let's try World War Z. And when you click install, it's going to get the download size. And in this case, make sure you have enough free space on your Steam Deck. I ran into an issue straight away where I hadn't cleared down some of my Steam Deck OS. By the way, to note, I don't have an SD card, but you can you can change your select install path to point your SD card if you have an SD card for your Steam Deck. In this case, I'm installing on the internal hard drive. So uh, go ahead and install that. Now, what I would suggest as well is leave it to Proton Experimental for the WINE version. OK, so that will be the version of Proton that you use for the particular game that you're installing in order to for it to be compatible with Linux in this case. So, but anyway, you can leave the defaults. I found defaults work for most games and it was fine. So go ahead and install that. Okay, so now that that's installed, as you can see here, what we're going to do next is we're going to add back the Heroic Games Launcher to the, within Steam Deck in the Steam Library. So what you can do is you can close out Heroic Games Launcher and what you're going to do is you want to just open up a Steam session. Now not gaming mode, but a standard Steam session. The next what you want to do is when you go to games and you would want to go to add non Steam game to my library and you're going to see Heroic Games Launcher there and you're going to add selected program and then you can close out of that uh, launch back up return to gaming mode so hit return to gaming mode on the desktop there so once steam is launched back up you can go to your menu you go to your library and you go to go to non steam and then go and look for the heroic games launcher and play now you don't need to change by the way just before you do that go into properties you don't need to set any compatibility here because heroic games launcher is actually natively linux so it doesn't need to use any Proton to launch. So just hit play and then it'll be launched here and then you can hit play on World War Z. If you get this error that says no wine version selected, just go to game settings. So hit the settings here and go to Proton Experimental. So once you select Proton Experimental, you can just close out with that and hit launch and the game should launch. And there you go. World War Z is launched. Now I would recommend actually just double checking this to use Proton 7.0 or Experimental. Just try one or the other and either one should work. It just depends on the experimental version that's out at a given time. But I found 7.0 very compatible with World War Z. But anyway, it's trial and error when it comes to games. Uh, it seems to a lot of the games are very, very compatible. So there should be major issues with any games. But that's it guys, that's it the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like the video and you're new to the channel, please consider supporting me by subscribing and I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching.